Hi guys, welcome to Fernasha Vlog. So for today's topic is all about success, loss of marriage. So um, um, God convicted me to tackle the main issues of life. Why is it I'm vlogging? So um, he led me in um, about marriage because um, to give you a record, me and my husband is already married for four years and we've been together for 13 years. And those years was really shaky, you know, like if we even we, we came up to a point like we felt like we're not really destined to each other but we decided to become mature and take you know take the the relationship into the next marriage so um i think this will be a series of discussion about marriage about this is not just about marriage it's all it's also deals with a single with the married people na um, what is really marriage all about? Before I will discuss to you the, the needs of a man and the needs of a woman, um, I would like to give you uh, insight of what what is God's perspective about marriage. Okay, so because about this topic, to be honest, um, me and my husband is already particular and let's say we are already careful about this thing because sabi ko nga sa inyo we've been together for 13 years and we almost really destruct each other and destroy each other's career life even attitude because of the bad um habits a lot of single really wants to get married they're really having a problem of having looking for a husband looking for a wife but they don't know apparently that 50 percent of those who are married also wants to get divorced or already in trouble of you know how 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 to stay married so that's why you don't need to make things in a rush so before going to the his needs and her needs of this thing so um, I really have this conviction to share with you guys um, how God look what is God's perspective about marriage so without further ado let's get started okay so first is that I will quote some of those paradox of marriage okay so it says here that the greatest attraction and distraction in human life is marriage and you know everybody seems really wants to get married but you know don't you know that marriage could be a great distraction on you or to you and um, it is the most beautiful danger in life could you imagine it is the most beautiful danger ito yung pinakamagandang panganib sa buhay mo kung tatagalugin mo. Next, it's, um, it could be your source of joy and it could be the greatest source of your frustrations. Okay, so, um, I will cite some of examples of that. Um, and, um, it is also a greatest dream you could ever have and it could be the worst nightmare you could ever had as well diba so um um so many things about marriage that we are thinking you know i i just need to correct it i i think i need to you know enlighten you shed a light on you about on that and um actually marriage is an option given by god it is not really a mandatory hindi siya like you know when you nung nilabas ka sa, sa pupuna ng nanay mo, God won't, won't tell you or you're being pressured of hala, kailangan mo mag-asawa because there are a lot of people are being called for celibacy which is um, uh, a lifetime being single, you know, a life being committed to God. And um, actually, marriage is also uh, uh, it is being produced by God. Si Lord ang gumawa ng marriage. Siya talaga yung nag-create ng marriage. And this is one of the wrong mindset as well of the single nowadays. No, they think like um, it is not necessary to fulfill one's purpose for your life. So what we are thinking like you know, once you get married, only by that time you will serve your purpose in your life. It's a big no, no, guys. Hindi siya totoo, and um, it can even enhance or destroy your destiny. So um, a lot of people. Before they get married, you know, their their life seems to be so organized, so passionate. Um, the, it 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 seems like they are they are on track. It seems like their life is so, a uh, very decent. Pero after getting married, you know, you are being shocked. Na nasa na na losang na si ano? Huy ano? Lalo na dito sa Pinas, we really love you know to chismis and make a chica. Na huy nasa na si ano? 
ganyan yung nangyari sa buhay niya. So, could you imagine, can you, can you weigh the balance of that? And especially nowadays, I mean, I am not against of those, you can see with the wedding, with the, you know, very promising setup, with the videographer, most expensive videographer, photographer, even the, you know, buffet and everything. But are you really prepared being married? And are you really sure that you are the right person or the person you married is the right one? Okay, so for the single, you don't need to spend all your life looking for someone to marry. And then you forget what God's will for your life. Because I tell you, marriage won't really... It's just in a, in a piece of cake. It's just one slice of your life. But of course, it will give you a total great impact sa buhay mo. So, it is not something not to, to deal with na parang, ah, i-small mo lang siya. Pero hindi din siya pwedeng take for granted mo. But hindi din pwede na parang, you know, lalo na sa mga ano, na parang that will be the totality of your life. That is a big no-no. So, marriage is so dangerous, it can derail you or destroy you. So, don't take it lightly. Okay, so I will quote this passage on Matthew 19 verse 10 to 12. It says, If this is the situation between a husband and and a wife, it is better not to marry. So, you know, uh, when you are single, you are living like a princess sa bahay nyo, nasusunod ka pa when you are with your parents, but when you get married, it seems like you are already a princess in the dungeon. Na, na, alam mo yung feeling mo na parang Gumuho pa tuloy yung buhay mo, lalo pa tuloy na sira yung buhay mo when you are, you know, your your expectation about marriage is so high. Okay? Actually, the next most important decision in life next to salvation is the person you really want to marry with, really. We are thinking that buying a house, you know, or buying a car, lalo na sa house, we're thinking like that is the most, you know, important decision in life, but Buying a house is very easy, but how about building a home on it, diba? Kumbaga, it's very easy to, to have a house, but is your house a really a home? Ganon, diba? It's easy to build a house, but it's tough to build a home. And are you really ready for that kind of commitment? Okay, and a lot of people also that how smart they are before they get married, you know, but no matter how smart you are, marriage will get you. I mean, a lot of successful people na, you know, they're so intelligent and everything, but marriage can really suck into you and, you know, sap all your energy, right? So, marriage is such a beautiful idea. Only God could have thought of it, diba? Actually, I just realized when I was, you know, reading, because I'm reading a lot of books about marriage, and um, it says there that uh, God is the first author of love story. Even if you read in Genesis, guys, you read in Genesis, he's the one who created the love story of Adam and Eve. So, it is only, it is a thought, it is an idea only thought by God. It means like, hindi siya in our day ng world. It is not being, you know, it was it was not an idea given by the world or the government or the church. Now I get married, but if you read the Bible, it was really God, you know, it was really a gift from God. It was really produced by God. Okay, and um, I have read also that um, first the first institution that God created was marriage. Okay, the first kingdom institution created by God was relationship, okay? Bible did not begin with church, government, or university. If you read, and those people who, who are already reading the Bible, um, hindi, after God created Adam and Eve, hindi niya sinabi na, okay, let's create a government, or let's create a kingdom, or let's create, ano, he created relationship first, diba? And it is the foundation of every single person. Kingdom relationships are regulated by standards of heaven. There's always a standard, godly standard that God wants us to handle. No, hindi siya pwede na, okay, it, ganito, ganito lang. Okay? And a successful marriage is only possible with a kingdom culture. Yan guys, ako personally, my personal experience was that 
I have my because when you grow up, hindi ka naman sinet for marriage. Eh. Hindi ka naman, de ba? When you are growing up, your your dad or your mom won't tell you like, boy, dapat ganito ka kasi ganito yung pag-asawa. Nobody really thought of that thing when we were when we were schooling. But especially um, it is it is also it is only being discussed in church or you know yung mga groups of people na ano ba talaga yung marriage okay so it is only possible if you have a kingdom culture okay um sa so Genesis 2 22 verse 31 hindi ko na lang siya masyado I don't want to to go deeper it's just the highlight um God did not told at Adam to marry Eve hindi niya sinabihan na parang hoy Ano, si, Ad, si Eve ang mapapangasawa mo. What he did was like, he created Adam, and then, pinatulog niya si Adam, and then, ginawa niya si Eve. Tapos, nung binuksan na ni, ni, ni Lord yung eyes ni Adam, hindi sinabi ni Lord na yung mapapangasawa mo. He displayed it to Adam. It means, God will give us, He will give us the, the, the option. Kasi, Diba, parang one of the, the the free will that he gave one of the gift that he gave us is the free will to choose so hindi niya sinabihan si Adam ito agad mapapangasawa mo so even us God has given us the um the right to choose who will gonna who whom we will gonna marry with hindi siya parang okay ito sasabihin ni Lord ikaw ang pipili kung sino ang mapapangasawa mo and then it says here that it's to cleave so when you when you search the word cleave it's it means to chase cleave means you really separate and cleave also means to chase so it's husband's responsibility to keep on chasing the women okay even when you get married there must still some spies in your marriage na kasi usually i as you have seen in the in the society today once na nag-asawa na Kumbaga, you will just court your your wife, lalo na pag nakita mo na, na wow, she's very famous, she's very beautiful. Na you you just really want to chase her, but even after getting the marriage and everything, the sparks died down. So actually, when you say cleave, it's also one of your responsibility is really to chase your wife. And of course, it's women. It is your job to get being chased and remain chased. So, a lot of women, kahit ako din naman, aminado din ako niya na once you get married, you know, um, you will just take yourself for granted, di ba? If you are good looking before, you must be good looking afterwards. And if you are controlled with your eating habit, habits before, di ba? Then you must control it more. So, when you are, lalo na yung, when you were Diba? When we are dalaga, which is, I admit on that. Before you get married, you always smell so good. Diba? Parang, oh, bango-bango mo. Parang, ganda-ganda mo. But suddenly, after getting married, parang, wala na. Diba? May mga joke nga sa mga bisaya niya na sa malayo pa lang nang hangamoy na yung parang ganun. No, girls, you must, you must take good care of yourself. Parang, still leave a, a room for mystery for you, for your husband, not to really chase you. Hindi yung parang, ah, ito na, ito na ako, ganito na ako. Of course, with the weight issue, which is I'm also dealing with, medyo mahirap talaga siya kasi yung mga Pinoy mo kang ganun ata tayo talaga, parang alam mo yun, yung medyo matabain. Ako, ako personally. So, I'm also working out on it. But on some other aspects of my life, I did not allow marriage will dictate me that's why um i really pursue my passion the business that i really want of course i'm not lifting my own chair but i just realized that um marriage is not the end of of your story actually personally my personal testimony i realized that i became a better person when i get married as in really most of the dilemma that people are experiencing right now na parang pag nag-asawa ka na wala ka ng pake you don't care about anything kasi parang wala na satisfied ka na no guys it's your responsibility to chase one another and to please one another still when you are married to finalize this um, advice, marriage is not protected by love. It is protected by knowledge. I just want to read some of the things that I have um, uh, read. The principle of marriage is a successful marriage has little to do with love. Love does not guarantee success in marriage. Love brings happiness but it does not make marriage work the only thing that makes anything work is knowledge knowledge that comes from above so love 
di ba? Parang because love is just a flickering. Parang it's just a fickle of a feeling. Like parang wow, you're just enjoying it, but actually, the lack of knowledge on how to handle things will really set you into destruction. So, the greatest source of knowledge is reading the Bible, really, and loving God above all. Because you must learn, you must um, know how to deal with your husband, to deal with your kids. So, knowledge na guys, hindi na love. As in, kumbaga, when you talk about love, especially when you are so emotional, it's so easy to love. But how about in the most unlovable situation of your husband, when he is sick, when he's not doing well, when he don't have the job, when the kids are, you know, being pasaway and everything. It's not all about love. It's all about knowledge. So, that's why my personal testimony about marriage is that because before, I used to rely on my emotions like, oh, this is what I feel towards my husband. So today I will treat him well. And the following day, ah, wala ako sa mood. Medyo hindi ko siya feel ngayon. Medyo, medyo hindi siya guapo ngayong araw na to. So I will treat him badly. And I realized na that's not how marriage works. So when I, I really, you know, I intentionally um, educated myself to read the Bible and of course, uh, read some books about marriage because I myself really want my marriage to work to work out because I already decided to marry that person so it's not like you don't have the choice but you are already there so for you is how to really maintain and to really walk a lifetime journey with that person so um, and by that time na, when I repented when I realized that it's not all about how you feel but how you commit so, um, how you gonna commit with that person? Dun ko, dun, dun naging, naging well and, you know, nag, nag flow is smoothly ang aming marriage because I already have the knowledge on how to, to deal with my husband, how to deal with marriage, how to deal when problem comes, how to enjoy, how to diversify. So, yun guys, and everything has changed and I know it will be a lifetime process of, you know, um, adjusting and balancing everything in and out but I could really say that um, it really helped me a lot to make my life easier. Kasi nga parang ako hindi pala love, knowledge pala. So yun guys, um, yun na muna my topic for today. The next topic for this series is like, yun na yung mga knowledge and I will share to you what is my personal experience about the, about my husband, how to deal with men, how to how to please them, how to please the wife, or how to please the husband, and even on the kids. So, yun na muna guys, uh, for this moment, I hope you have picked up something and you have learned something. And I hope this video bless you. And if this bless you, um, please like or share or tag your friend who you think who needs this. Maybe they need an encouragement, especially in terms of relationships. So, please tag them. And please uh, subscribe on my YouTube channel for Nasha Vlogs, or um, click like for my Facebook uh, for my Facebook page. Till the next series, thank you so much, guys, for watching this loss of successful marriage. Um, and I hope you will gonna wait and look forward for the coming videos for this series. Have a great day to you.